Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for March 31st of 2022. Well, it is titled exploring the antennae. So what do we see here? Well, these are this is an example of two galaxies in the process of a collision. And we can see the two nuclei towards the center, the central portions of the galaxy. And these are what we call the antennae galaxies for the long streams going away from them like a couple of antenna off uh, coming off of the galaxies themselves. Now galaxies collide relatively frequently, more often in the past than in present times, they, when collisions were very common, but we still get a lot of collisions occurring. And this is how galaxies have grown from relatively small galaxies to much larger ones by colliding and merging together and becoming single larger galaxies, which is likely what is in the process of happening here. However, during the collision, we get some very interesting effects and the galaxies themselves really don't collide in the sense that we think of a collision. We think of the two things smashing into each other. That's not really what happens because the galaxies are mostly empty space. They just pass through each other. However, there are some things that collide and that would be gas clouds that would collide that would enhance star formation. And that's why we see a lot of blue coloring within the two central galaxies there, which is young stars that have formed in the pink star forming regions, because star formation has been enhanced by the collision. The gravitational fields also interact and rip material out of the galaxies. And that's what we see is the two streaming tails coming out of these. Uh, that is material that has been ripped out of the galaxies as they pass by. It's essentially lots of stars and star clusters and gas and dust that have just been pulled from the galaxy and are now, stre now stretching outward from it. Now over time these will eventually coalesce down and we would see just a single galaxy. However a galaxy collision also takes a tremendous amount of time because of the immense distances involved and they don't collide instantaneously. The collision can take hundreds of millions of years and it can take a billion years for it to settle back down to just look like an ordinary galaxy again. So we can't really watch galaxies collide. We just get to catch them at one stage of the collision, get one snapshot of the collision. And then we can look at other galaxies and use computer models to really be able to learn more about galaxy collisions, such as the one we look at today. So that was our picture of the day for March 31st of 2022. It was titled Exploring the Antennae. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.